Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go talk about something a little bit more on the intriguing side. And I would actually love to go hear your thoughts and opinions on this. And it's going to be kind of a little bit of a strange topic slash a little bit of a ramble video on this. Just kind of prep yourself for that. But I also want to go and say that this is going to be kind of a weird hot take. It seems like the hype behind a lot of these kind of consoles is finally now officially somewhat dying on down. And you guys might be thinking... Yeah, it's been like about a year. It kind of makes sense. But I'm going to use a very, very specific reference when it comes to both Anton Line and GameStop when it comes to this video. I kind of want to talk about this because we actually did have kind of some very, very long, long, long acting restocks that basically just no one wanted to go and buy. And it's actually been something I've been seeing a lot more often, especially now too as well when it comes to GameStop. So I want to go talk about this all throughout today. I kind of want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console and controller. You guys want to go check and see or whatever. We also do have the Twitter and Twitch room down below. Samsung SSDs as well down below. And of course, sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get a bunch of free stocks and free money. Same with that Coinbase too as well. Link down below. And like I said, if you guys want to leave a like or give your thoughts and comments throughout this video, if you guys want to, or even if you guys, I think maybe the big, big focal point for this, if you guys just want to listen to my rambling too, too much, are you guys okay with buying bundles? Are you guys anti-bundles? Do you guys prefer the normal console? And all of that stuff. So let's go dive on in. So the big premise on this one, I'm not sure the full overarching premise, but it's been very, very intriguing information to go and see that some of these restocks have actually last a very, very long time. So I'm going to put these two case in points. We actually had an Anton line restock that happened as of yesterday. You guys can see their tweet. To help you go and ring in the new year, the Xbox Series X is here. Take on the 2022 with this powerhouse of a console, available now for a limited time at Ant Online. So you guys are seeing this as a normal restock drop. You go and have a chance to see it. They have some bundles, which is more kind of usual for Ant Online. Ant Online actually used to be kind of somewhat sought after when it came to their consoles, mainly because they just had them. But right now, we've actually had some pretty big issues. So first and foremost, a while back, they would also even be doing Xbox Series S bundles until they eventually started not selling out instantaneously, which is obvious. I mean, you can go to the Xbox Series S on Amazon, Best Buy, walk-ins very easily. As of now, they just turn them out. You can even go on the website right now and buy them. It's not that much of a rarity anymore. But when it comes to the Xbox itself, very intriguing thing for this was this bundle was up for over 12 hours on the official website. It basically was just barely sold out. And then at that point, Everyone is even memeing on it to the point where like if you guys look at the Ant Online, which I'll show you guys in a second, all the Ant Online tweets, a lot of folks are basically being like, this is a trash bundle. I'm not spending that much money on it. It's not worth it. And as well, also people were even making fun of the fact that the actual restock was up for such a long time and almost somewhat rightfully so because these bundles are becoming somewhat crazy in all honesty. If you guys look at this bundle itself, it does have the controller as they lead to wireless controller included as well. So an extra surcharge. Forza Motorsport as well for Xbox, a brand new Xbox headset, and as well also some Game Pass as well. And some of these bundles can cost a lot of money. It's not the only retailer that actually does them, but this is kind of intriguing for me because the bundle is actually up for such a long time. And with also such a bad community reception on it, and it's, it's kind of intriguing to go and see. And it almost kind of seems like to me, you guys can give me get your thoughts on this. It seems like the very, very hyper focus of these restocks are kind of dying down. Now, I do think if this was a normal Xbox, it would instantly sell out. Same thing too as well. We see that with Best Buy. We see that with Amazon. We see that with Target, etc. So people still want their consoles. People still want to get their Xbox and PlayStations. And we could even go and tell this by the scalper prices. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like we're kind of seeing a shift now. And they've kind of been noticed throughout the past few weeks or so. Is that these bundles are just not selling as fast as they used to. Which I think is a good sign. Now, once again, it did still eventually sell out. So it's kind of crazy. But it kind of lets people have the option to, if they really want to buy from a reputator, like reputable retailer, and they want to get their consoles, they still almost somewhat can. Now, we still have a little bit more. We have to go for a while. We still have a few more months of this. But I feel like it is a really, really nice sign. Because also, I think a part two of this too as well is that when it comes to places like GameStop, they're also in stock. So let me go and kind of show you guys some of these tweets over here too as well. Because we've actually had a chance to go and see a lot of these. So basically for this one too, so we even people over here are noticing, why is the Xbox Series S sold as a system, but the Xbox Series X is over $800? And that's because everyone's trying to be like, hey man, just trying to go make some money on it. And we also even comments like this, bundle, no thanks. And of course there's been a few people over here too as well, but we're seeing a lot of stuff like bundles, eagles, garbage. Hello, it's over Ant Online, stop with these big bundles, which I agree, I don't think we need to have these many bundles nowadays. I think the like the crazy, crazy hype, or you the second you can find anything online, you want to go and buy it, you want to go instantly bet it, bots are buying it, 
I think it's slowly finally tapering off. Now it's not done yet, don't get me wrong, but you guys can even tell by all these comments. Overfry's bundle, pass. Another bundle, just struggling over here too as well. People even saying, LOL, it's still available. <laughs> the bundle Xbox is no more. They got to go and stop to like a lot of folks are like, just basically like, here's like the sleeper emojis too as well on top of that. And I mean, some people are calling them scalpers. They're just trying to make bundles too as well. But like, look at this. One of the worst bundles I've ever seen. No one wants the bundle. That's way too much. It's easier to get everyone else. No one wants it. $800 is way too much cheap. No buy on this one. And you guys are seeing like everyone's kind of going hardcore on these bundles. And even this is after like Best Buy also did drop today. We're also seeing targets too as well, which I love seeing this. It's so awesome to go and see everyone just being like, no, <laughs> on top of this too as well. And now this kind of wants to go into part two of this video, which I'm kind of just rambling on into a little bit, but I do think it makes sense. I think the big hype still, there's still a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype on the normal consoles. PlayStation 5s by themselves. Amazon still bought it, still instantly sold out. Best Buy, people are clamoring to get these consoles. And even honestly, some of the PS5s are still very in demand, even for GameStop, where they probably sell pretty much instantaneously very fast. And that's just more on the PS5 versus Xbox. But I feel like with so much accessibility for the Xbox, it's just not as crazy since you can just go to Target and wait a few days or a few weeks to get your console or all that type of stuff. And the part two of this is the same with GameStop, like I mentioned. GameStop for their walk-ins are actually taking a lot longer to go and sell. Now, they do have a little bit of an extra pricing, plus also that really weird, like, you know, just the pro membership, which is annoying. But we've been seeing PlayStation restocks that last like three to five days, depending on your area, or people can just go and still casually walk in and they can casually go get their consoles. Now, I do think that does kind of contribute a little bit towards the actual bundles because the bundles are, well, expensive. They are expensive, especially if you have the pro membership too tied on in. And as well, what there's so much having like so many stores out there and the kind of like the somewhat casual accessibility, I myself, I'd be more in like, so let's say a good example is yesterday for this drop. We had Amazon, Best Buy and GameStop all dropping within like a five minute period. And folks, some folks, there were some perks, like people who wanted to for sure go get their consoles. If they were trying at GameStop, they got it. Like a lot of folks did end up getting them. I mean, not everyone did, but a lot of folks did up getting their PlayStation 5 digitals over there. But the two places that sold out way faster, had more attention, had more hype, and were also botted, Best Buy and Amazon. And because that's where just people want to have the normal casual consoles, and that's where they want to go and basically, well get their consoles. They don't want to spend an extra $200 for a game they may or may not go and play. Now, some folks maybe don't mind it for the PlayStation 5s because they will end up playing these games and go getting these games. Like, I'm sure they're okay with that for sure. But for some things like the Xbox bundles, they might just have like a GameStop gift card or like a weird Xbox Game Pass. We just go buy it for like $1 for three months. So I do kind of feel like the overall over premise, I guess, for this is that it does kind of seem like we're somewhat making another really big step. We're making a really good stride. Where before, like six months ago, any type of bundle, the same anti-line bundle, within an hour would probably go and sell out. But as of now, people kind of have that appreciation where it's like, it's a little bit over expensive. I already had to wait a little while anyway. If I just have to wait a little bit more longer, an extra one or two months, I'll just go and try to get a normal console. I don't want to go buy extra stuff I don't need. I don't want to go spend extra money I don't need. And I feel like this is a nice, good next step because that kind of goes and shows that like the hyper demand is slowly going down. Now for normal consoles still, there is so much demand. I've had so many people, so many tweets, so many people just in general, subscribers, all of you guys out there are even watching stuff. That's probably more on like the hyper set. A lot of you guys want to get the normal consoles, the normal PlayStation 5s, normal Xboxes by themselves and have given the opportunity to go buy it from a place like Amazon, Target, whatever, you're going to jump on it. And I'd probably do the same thing. That's what I did for my console. And this is the part two of it where it does kind of tone down the amount of folks that want to go buy these overpriced bundles, which I think is actually kind of good. Because I don't want a lot of you folks out there have to always go and be buying and spending so much extra money on these really expensive bundles when they're just not that good. Thankfully, places like Best Buy and GameStop that have their bundles, they are usually kind of not bad. Like the same thing for like, I'll, if I had that same exact uh, bundle as well when it comes to all this stuff, I can show you guys here really quickly. I'm okay with this. Like you go get an extra like year of PS Plus, I'd probably buy it anyway. $100 gift card, I'd probably buy games anyway. Get GameStop gift cards too. I'll buy games this comes out whenever brand, like, AAA comes out, God of War Horizon, I'll be buying it. And I, I'm okay with this. But now if this same exact bundle was also $900 and try to go and sell me a headset on top of maybe another controller, maybe I'd be second guessing it and not want to get the console as badly. So overall, if you guys can kind of let me know your thoughts, I do kind of feel like it's nice that we're kind of having like the 
a little bit more of like a calm where people aren't willing to go and drop a thousand dollars on a bundle for kind of no reason and people are just ready to go get their consoles and chill i kind of want to hear all your thoughts down below because i do think this is a nice step towards the progression and i do not think we should be kind of forced to be buying these very expensive bundles and it does make me happy seeing this and seeing other people kind of be like eh, nine hundred dollars for a bundle i'm good i'm okay waiting a little bit longer to get a more proper normal restack so okay yeah give me your thoughts and comments down below a bit of a ramble video on it but that was kind of a cool topic to go talk about and see as well when you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller brand new ssds as well for samsung down below we also do have the twitter and twitch if you guys want to follow sign up for weeble deposit 100 dollars you guys can get a bunch of free stack and free money go in base 2 as well link down below and thank you guys all so much for watching we'll have a lot more videos all throughout the rest of today Love you guys.